Hello and welcome to the PASCOM uh, video training series. Uh, the topic of today's tutorial is the PASCOM 1 Cloud Phone System Microsoft Teams integration. Eagerly awaited, much demanded Teams integration. Um, but before we get into the, the Teams integration, we have to explain a few bits and pieces that it's not just Microsoft Teams. There's a lot of other stuff going on behind the scenes that we need to delve into. Um, and yeah. So what do we actually need to know about? What do we need to consider uh, as we set up our integration and what does it actually do, Matthias? Yes, important is the type of integration. Mm -hmm. There are many uh, ways how you can connect to the Microsoft world from the desktop or directly in the cloud. We have chosen the most modern and newest way. So we have a cloud to cloud connection from the PASCOM cloud to the Microsoft cloud. Okay. So it's mm -hmm. really easy to use, easy to set up. And what's important to understand, it's not a Teams integration, let's say. It's an integration that we synchronize the state of the PASCOM user with the state of the Microsoft user. Uh -huh. So if you are in the Microsoft world in call, we know this now, mm -hmm. and then you can react on the PASCOM side of things. Okay, using things like uh, PASCOM profiles and so on and so on. Yes, so yep. Profiles is the powerful tool we have yep. where you mm -hmm. can define your world, how should this complete system look for you mm -hmm. in a specific situation, like you're on holiday, um, which phones should ring, mm -hmm. should their phones ring, um, <laughs> uh, in which teams you are connected, yep. uh, do you have a redirection, or uh, so on and so forth. So all those things are defined in Profiles. Okay. And the Microsoft user state is now a trigger. Mm -hmm. So. If there is the trigger, Microsoft in call, then I can switch to a certain profile. Okay, and those of you that don't know what PASCOM profiles are, uh, the video will be linked somewhere around here. Uh, so you can uh, watch that in your uh, spare time and get using PASCOM profiles mm -hmm. as well. Good, so that's that. Um, what do we need to know about the setup? Not much. Okay. So you have just, as an administrator, to create a connector. Mm -hmm. We will dive into it and show what to do. So here are our connectors. Every time, if you're familiar to PASCOM, you know that you need a connector uh, to connect to external systems. An external system is Microsoft as well. And you can see here it's a Microsoft status and not Microsoft Teams integration because we sync the user state. Okay. So don't panic and search. I think if you search for Teams integration, you will find it mm -hmm. because in the details, there is EG Microsoft Teams yeah. integration, but don't yeah. get confused. Um, then what to set up here is a name, you have to enable it, and here is the only tricky part you have to understand. This is the profile which you should use. define or use mm -hmm. while you are in a Teams session. Okay. Um, to make things easy, we automatically create a profile called Teams Meeting, mm -hmm. and we automatically link it to the status integration. What does this profile actually do? Uh, it just turns off all your phones. Oh, Maybe nice. that's what you want. Maybe that's what you want. So you mm -hmm. have a nice relaxed Teams meeting with no yes. interruptions. Yes, only chat interruptions. Yeah, only chat. But so. if you don't want that, what do you do? You can then, as an administrator, mm -hmm. you can define a new server profile mm -hmm. and do whatever you think is right for your company. Okay. Um, and if you cannot have one profile for all of your employees because they have different needs, mm -hmm. then you can ask them to create their own profile. As always, a user can define his own behavior mm -hmm. and it will be um, used instead of the server profile. Okay. So if but you have both, then it will use the user's one. But we'll get to that at the end of this video yes. when we go into the, sort of the end yes. user uh, viewpoint of the Teams integration. Um, what else do we need to know here? Let's dive back in and have a look. Is there anything that we need to do here beyond this? Sort of, for example, go into actually starting a Teams call? Uh, no, uh, we don't have to do much. We have to authenticate mm -hmm. against um, this uh, Microsoft services. Uh, that's all. And uh, now we can see how it works. Here we have the PASCOM client, we are available currently, and here we have the Teams client. And you can see in both worlds I'm the same user, and here I'm available and there I'm available. What happens now is I start a call, uh, join, and now my state changes here in uh, the Teams world. Mm -hmm. 
So what happens now is the cloud services are talking to each other and will synchronize the state. Microsoft uh, has a document where they say how fast this is. Mm -hmm. So it's between five seconds and about a minute. Yeah. Give so we had a lot of testing mm -hmm. uh, with this and the average is 15 seconds or something. Yeah. So don't panic if it immediately does not switch your profile. Maybe it takes a few seconds. Okay. But then it's in sync mm -hmm. and your user state is also in sync. As you can see here now, we are also here in the Teams meeting now. Yep. This profile is active, no incoming calls. And if I leave it, uh, it takes maybe another few seconds that and was quick. it's available again. Yeah, that was extremely quick and very effective. Yes. Yeah, and um, sort of the benefit wise, what does this actually bring me? I mean, for example, if I'm on my Teams meeting, um, I start it on my mobile, uh, on my Teams meeting. What does that happen on the desktop for me? Uh, the same. So we know the state mm -hmm. and we react to the state, no matter which platform you use, yep. no matter which device you use. And okay. that's the great benefit of a cloud to cloud yep. connection. And an added benefit here, is, which we didn't talk about a little bit, was that um, if you, for example, for Pascom and Microsoft, as you would normally do, use the same headset, with this, your headset uh, is no longer sort of the connection is no longer broken when you get a Teams call or a Pascom call yep. when you're in a Teams call. Good. As an end user, you talked about that we wanted to be able to make our own profiles and so on. What do I need to do? That's easy. I can configure a profile. As you mentioned, mm -hmm. profile is a separate topic, yep. but I will now show what to do quickly. So here I can configure my profiles here and you can see this is the server profile. And if I click on the information, uh, I can see that this is a server profile, a system profile. I cannot change it, mm -hmm. but I can add my own profile, say, my Teams meeting and I can say, let's say red a symbol and I'm working hard, that's good. And here is a trigger and I can add a trigger and I can add time triggers, uh, but there is a new trigger, this is a Teams trigger. If I'm in a Teams meeting, then this profile will be triggered. And now I just add some actions. Action could be I change the follow me system like I'm not available with all my phones or a specific phone or mm -hmm. I'm available on mobile but not on whatever. So yep. if you're interested in the profiles, then go to the other video because exactly. they're, they're yep. very powerful and I cannot cover everything now. Yep. So continuing here, I save this and maybe as another action, I will pause in all teams so that everybody knows that I'm paused now. So. I save this and now it's available for me. Didn't quite press save, but doesn't matter. I think ah, everyone understood. <laughs> I think I everyone didn't. understood. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, more on the profiles in the other video, as I mentioned. That's it for the Microsoft Teams. Um, as Matthias mentioned, it's not purely about Teams. It's Microsoft uh, 365 yes. Status Connector, which is a building block for many more things that we are going to be able to do in the future. It's really a very cool, powerful integration. Um, so yeah, thanks very much for watching and stay tuned for more on what's coming in the future. Until then, yeah. goodbye.